All right, creature decoy. It's a wiring kit and titanium. Do I have the two more silver? I do. But titanium's already in my inventory. Oh, it's times three. At least there's that. That's cool. It makes three of them. Oh, they, they take up some space. <laughs> Alright, so between the creature decoy and the stasis rifle, I'm a little less scared, a little bit, of trying to, to get my stuff back. I'm not psyched about it still. Obviously. Can be deployed by hand. Is it deployed by hand by dragging it out of my inventory? Awkward. Hmm. Interesting. Got a purple tablet. Let's put that away. There we go. Gotta drink some of that water. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is meant to be for me crafting the Cyclops. So, that's cave base red's location. Yeah, surrounding my base, the direction that goes towards cave base red is the most immediate depression. So I guess let's try to push you. I can't drive you, can I? That'd be too easy. No. That fucking bottle's still there. Can I, like, knock it out? Did I do it? And it's still- it's inside of it! <gasps> I got it! No more stupid bottle. Cool. Let's push you towards cave base red. Not by climbing you. Like, the concern would be finding out that I have to genuinely go to a super deep part of the map, because I can't really push it all the way there. So at that point I'd have to... I don't know, can I deconstruct you or put you back in my inventory? You weren't made by the... were you made by the base constructor? No, I can't cue you. Well, this is deep water. Deeper water. Can I make the scary thing? Cannot build here. Must be constructed in deeper water. Yeah, but how deeper? How deeper, game? Could you... Could you give me useful feedback, please? You know, like with the base where I can't build something but you won't tell me why? Could you tell me how deeper? Just that one piece of information would be very nice right about now. Constructed in deeper water. Eh. Maybe I can push it all the way to the red base. Which might be a pain in the ass, but I don't want to make another one. That'd be a pain. For now, I'm going to put all of the crafting materials in here. And we'll, we'll build it later. I want to get my sea moth back if I can. Uh, I don't like the idea of that. <laughs> uh, God damn it! Go in there, lubricant. Ah, uh, what else did you need? I'm not really sure. The lithium I probably grabbed excessively. Same with the titanium. Green gets three glass. Three lead, lubricant, environment wiring kit. Three, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's probably all the right stuff. Cool. Let's uh, put away my excess. My lead. Nope, that was lithium. Stupid. 
How did lithium end up on the far left? I don't know how I, how I did that. That's not where I would have expected that to end up. But then again, titanium is so weirdly deep in this process. Right, titanium's there because I, I had a, a spot for titanium originally. Uh, should I, uh, I'll probably take my power cell with me. Because for all I know, for all I know, I might need the power cell. Like, what if I find out that the existing power cell's been destroyed or something? Uh, how are we doing on power? Not amazing, but, eh. I should have done this first. There we go. There we go, get that charged up. You're close enough to 100% that it's fine. Cool. The repair tool should be on my bar because I, I might have to repair it to even move it. The stasis rifle is here. I have a beacon to put on the island. I have... Uh, there it is. The creature decoy. I need to know where that is so I can take use it, right? Alright. Uh, I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Oh, I need to f eat first. Gary? I need to have a word with you, Gary. God damn it. And once you pass a fish and, and miss it, it's really hard to reorient yourself and find it again. There we go. Cooking complete. Alright, let's uh, regret my life decisions. I really hope the stasis rifle's really strong. <laughs> and works on the Leviathan. And I really work- I really hope that the creature decoy distracts it. But above all else, I hope that I get there and he's not fucking there. <laughs> I hope that he just had wandered off for a bit and I'm good. Uh, I just don't want to do this. Part of what I'm dreading is just the idea that like... Hello? Is that a thermal vent? Oh yeah it is! Ho oh. ho! Oh, that, that could have been dangerous. That's That goes way the fuck down there, huh? Okay. Part of the fear is that the way video games work, traditionally, is that shit like this gets worse, not better. And I'm not psyched about that. What is that? Have I been here before? Oh, that's just plateaus of red. It looked weird. Reef backs. Reef backs. Cool debris. Have I been here before? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Bioreactor. Laser cutter. Uh. Ooh. There is like stuff inside. Okay. Well, this is on the way to the island. It should be easy to find even without a beacon. But there, there's a bunch of debris here. I should put a scan room around here to see if there's anything around here I don't actually have yet. Because who knows? You need to calm down with your dramatic music right now. I don't like it. Uh, should I ever expect a reaper to, in a kelp forest? I just want to... I want to think the kelp forests are safe. That'd be nice. If I could just believe the kelp forest won't attack me. Where the fuck... What the fuck's happening? Oh. Oh. That was weird. I was scared. A I actually got scared. Anything that surprises me scares me right now. And that was a surprise, so I didn't like it. <laughs> uh, but no, I was holding down W and spacebar at the same time. And spacebar makes you go up and W makes you go down, so the game didn't know how to handle that. With respect to me being... That's my thing, so I want to go left of my C thing. So I want to get on the island first. The safer approach.
Uh, I don't like this. I'm already like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> Remember when that cliff seemed like the scariest thing in the world? Cool, so I'm around here. I gotta get to the land part, though. The scary- one of the scarier things about the Reaper is the fact that they don't have a good draw distance. The fact that I can be so shockingly close to one and not see it yet is horrible knowledge that I don't want to have. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's just put you on the base. I was tempted to go up to the top, but it's just kind of excessive right now, isn't it? <clears throat> Are you gonna float there? I suppose that's neat. Can I turn you on or? Mountain Island. I don't know what else to call you at this point. Okay. Okay, the beacon's working just at, at within 10 meters, probably? Yeah, is when it doesn't work. Good to know. Okay, so Mountain Island is now activated. Probably should make you not blue, maybe? There's not a lot of colors, are there? And these two look like the same fucking color. I guess that's green? Technically green. <clears throat> Not the best, like, standout color. Alright, so I have Sea Glide, Stasis Rifle, Thermo Blade, Scanner. What else do I want to have equipped? Repair Tool. Yep. Repair Tool. There we go. Uh, uh, video games give me strength. I don't want to go back over there. <laughs> but I'm going to have to deal with shit like this. What might happen is there might be a rip off the band-aid moment where... Uh, when I played enough of Soma and... Uh, when I played enough of Soma and Outlast, both one and two of Outlast, there were certain enemies that would chase you a lot. And, uh, they were, so th they weren't just a, bo a boogeyman to think about, they were a scary thing you had to engage with directly. And as a result, the more you had to deal with them, the more you got exposed to them, and the less you were likely to be scared by them anymore, basically. Is the sun really going down right now? Right now? Fuck, I already saw him. Oh. Well, thanks for doing, thanks for making that decision for me. <laughs> you fuckhead. All right. Uh, all that prep work, huh? Like I'm going to go I'm going to go rescue my vehicle from the mean leviathan. And then the moment I came back, the Leviathan... Well, first of all, yeah, I totally saw him. He was right there, so... Fuck that. Uh, super not psyched about trying to save my Seamoth from him being right there. And then, as if to taunt me, he immediately destroys it the moment I get back here. Which I could, I could hear it being destroyed from all the way up there, which is a surprise. You motherfucker. Alright, time to go make a new Seamoth. Let's look into the ingredients for that again, because, uh... I'm going to want one of those, I'm pretty sure. And uh, I, have to ch I should check to see whether or not I need stuff from this island first. It's a bunch of titanium. Lubricant. Yeah, they're pretty easy to make. A power cell. which is And the power cell was just silicone rubber plus batteries. Battery is just copper and acid. And silicone is just creep vine. Yeah. Not that big of a deal overall. A bit of a goddamn project, though. Ah. 
All right, well, let's get busy, right? Yeah. I should probably make the most of this trip, right? Probably. What the fuck is up there? Oh, it's the weird bats. The weird... This game doesn't... I think this game doesn't handle stuff that's not in water very well. So, like, these bats will just land in midair. And then just hang out there. That's just what they do. That guy's freaking out over there. Yeah. Hmm. Well, at least there's a beacon here. I accomplished that one goal. Uh... Let's look into what it takes to make a scanner room. Uh, that's that's the, not the habitat builder. Can't believe that. This whole episode was building up to me going over there and fucking Reaper's like... <laughs> Now's the perfect time. At least he didn't wait till me. I got down there. What? This... Nothing's working. Jesus. Uh, what? No, look at... There's the tooltip. Alright. I don't... I don't know what was that. What was up with that? Five titanium, two copper, one gold, one table. That's not a big deal. Not a big deal overall. I don't have the stuff for it. I mainly just need more copper. But I think I might... Try to make the most of this trip. Grab a bunch of shit. That, my inventory is like, good? Yeah. Yeah. We are back. And that's a lot of lithium. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? But do I am? That's too much lithium. I got some diamonds and gold a bit. That was not a terrible haul. I figured I'd get back here because I wanted to do a cave run. And I didn't really want to show a cave run. So I just kind of got past that. This is less scenic view than it used to be. <laughs> now the moon base there. But that's why I made you! Ah. And also the other one out there. But this one has fish in it. I mean, they all have fish in it, but you know what I mean. It doesn't matter. Let's make a fucking sea moth, because I don't have a sea moth. Ah. Alright, another titanium ingot, first of all. Oof. Right, I don't keep titanium in there right now. What am I at on titanium right now? Good. Great. 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 Thanks, asshole. Thanks, asshole. Find me many titaniums. Right, not that one. Uh, almost made that mistake again. Alright, let's plan ahead a little bit. Gl two glass. Might already have that. Ooh, I also have a shitty power cell in my inventory that's almost expired. So I could use that one. I think two quartz was a glad. God damn it. There we go. At the end of this episode, we will at the very least have a goddamn sea moth again. Ah. Well, thanks for saving my life. <laughs> ah. Uh, lead and lubricant. I think I have another lube. Yay. Running out of lead. That's not good news. Hey, just like that, I have everything except for the ingot. And you scanned me some ingots. Alright. And I really should have... Yeah, my inventory is going to be a little full. I just need to get at least three of them. I think I only have one lead right now. I could be wrong about that. Got one. I heard stalkers love it when you steal their their all their salvage. You a big fan of that? You like it when I did that? When I stole your shit? You like it when I did that? You like it? You like that? You like that a lot? I will stab the shit out of you. You better stop chasing me. Bad idea. I'm gonna come get more. I have uh, six slots left. I can get four of them will be consumed by one of these. There we go. And aside from that, I should just eat. 
Gary, I don't think I have one of you. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Look at this crazy ass base with its nonsensical foundations. At least you can see it touching the ground now because I've built so much more base that the foundations look a little less silly. Zhadoosh. You really feel fast when you remember that you can sprint. Which admittedly, it can be surprisingly hard to remember you can sprint <laughs> when you're in the structure. Because your normal movement speed feels kind of normal. Feels like acceptable, kind of, when you're in that context. It's the moment when you're on the island where there's so much more ground to cover and you're not crowded in here that you're suddenly like, what's, what's wrong with my movement speed? How am I this slow? There we go. Oh, come on. The last one. There we go. Sea Moth is ready to be reborn at the mobile vehicle bay, which is all the way over here now. Ah, whoa, it forms above water. I forgot about that. <laughs> It has 100% power for some reason. Cool. I don't know why you have 100% power, but okay. Uh, let's get back in there. Calm down. Forgot to turn you off. <laughs> Taken care of, though. Oh, water. There we go. And I've got a bunch of bleach stored up too. All right, I'm gonna save before I do this because something bad might happen. I don't really know. I'm gonna try to push the mobile vehicle bay to red base. So we're gonna see how this game handles collisions. Slowly. Not great. <laughs> Admittedly, not great. But I've got a repair thing. And that did, that did cover some ground. I am bad for you, aren't I? So we're 273 away. Let's see how much closer I get. I'm trying to actually pay attention to it this time. I can't see when I'm doing this. I hope I'm moving. Hey, that was another hundred. That's also way deeper over here. I'm a little concerned about building this thing because I'm a little worried it'll be super unsafe. Okay. So it's over there, technically. Uh. I don't like being in the deep water. <laughs> I'm really not exaggerating. It really, it, I'm uncomfortable. Deep water makes me really uncomfortable. Specifically being so out in the open. There's so many billions of angles of attacks. And like, and, and something coming at me would be so small looking until it got me. Where's my vehicle bay? There it is. I'm gonna try to put it over the cave base. So I can find it again, frankly. Because concerningly, this thing doesn't have a freaking waypoint. So how do you find it?
Okay, I'm gonna go with the close enough for that. I'm going with the idea that this area has never fucked me yet. And I don't know if stuff ever changes where that's concerned, so... I think that the vehicle base red is not going to fuck with me. And it's just gonna be some reef backs and boring sand sharks and not be a big deal. I hope. Oh, I really drifted away from that stuff. Oh my god, it's easy to not even notice you're moving when there's so much open space. Alright. I'm a little perturbed- ah, fuck. Also, it's about to be nighttime. Great. Yeah, you kind of forgot to bring all your shit with you, didn't you? <laughs> oh well. Oh! Jesus, where am I going? There we go. Mountain Island. Oh my god. That would have been bad. <laughs> that might have taken me directly into one of the things I don't want to see again. I'm not really sure. Oh, I hate it. We gotta get out of this nighttime thing. So we're gonna go take a nap, which will hopefully take us to daytime. And I'm gonna grab all those resources from the box, because I forgot to bring them with me. Thankfully it's a short trip. And I'll swap out the battery of my repair thing, since that's probably in bad shape too. Welcome aboard, Captain. What? That, 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 that was weird. Oh, you're not really in bad shape. Oh well. Now you're in better shape. Deal with it. This thing, that these things get recharged fast, by the way. It's really not a concern. Uh, you've got all my stuff in it. There we go. It's weird how it all fits in there, right? Like, it, it feels like it shouldn't for some reason. Ah. Uh. This is exciting. Oh. Alright, well the bed's on this side anyway. I forgot to use the bed. So I'm a little concerned about the idea of, of uh, the Cyclops. It's, a, it's like this big vehicle. I have to build it in the middle of nowhere it seems because of the depth problem. And I'm a little concerned that like... What if it like is in danger? I don't know if things will attack it when I'm not in it. Maybe they won't. Ah, it's beautiful out now. Hello, sun. It is too quiet when you're above the water. I don't like how that antenna looks like a shark fin. It is too quiet above the water. There's so much water noise down here and none up here. Oh, this time I kind of hear waves. I felt like it was silent a moment ago. Welcome aboard, Captain. Cave base red. That's continued to be a, a somewhat acceptable name. There's my vehicle bay. This is exciting. I get to make something new. I'm also glad to know that the big daddy sound in this game is not threatening because it's a reef back. <clears throat> Click! Motherfucker! Be advised, the Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Is that gonna have a- is it gonna do a shockwave when it lands? Oh my god, it's massive. Uh... How deep is it gonna go? Little deep. What's your deal? Board Cyclops here. Oh my god. Oh my god. It has storage built in. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> really? There's little steps that your character gets stuck on? Uh. What's the layout of this place? What's that? It's locked, apparently. 
Oh my god. This is unreasonably large. <laughs> do I have to do like... Uh, what's that? There's like a Zeppelin game where Zeppelins fight each other. I've never played it before. Uh, but you run around as a crew and stuff. I, I can almost imagine like you have to run around and, and... Oh, there's three power cells in here. I can almost imagine that you have to like run around in this thing. And like put out fires literally. Someone fucking attacking me? How would I even tell? Depth module, engine efficiency module, shield generator, sonar upgrade, decoy upgrade. Oh, you can put your decoys in here. Let's put one of those in. I got one of those. There's a whole station dedicated just to that. Hey, fire extinguisher. No vehicle docked. Oh, I could dock my... It probably goes in there, huh? I can dock my vehicle. This is absurdly big. Nothing showing up on sonar. Seemingly. Is that the health bar? It looks full. So you're fine. This is insane. It's insane and it kind of makes me wish for multiplayer a little bit. If they, like, I can imagine a version of this game where you have cool stuff to do with oh, three separate characters running around on this on this ship doing things to keep it going. I wonder if they planned on that originally when they talk about it being three person crew. Hmm. What I'm curious about is whether or not knowing that I'm in a giant sub now instead of being a free floating human in the water or in a bubble that maybe I might feel less afraid of some stuff. I don't know. I'm not any bigger, but I'm in a giant armored thing. They might abstract it a little bit. Oh, you can customize it? You can customize the whole thing's appearance. I want to see what this looks like. Why am I- why am I drifting towards it? This tells me something bad is gonna happen, right? It's like, are we good? I must just be rocking around? Or maybe a reef back touched me. Will reef backs ram into this mindlessly or would they navigate, I assume? I don't know. Um... <laughs> I don't have a name planned. Uh, white makes sense to me. Sure. Uh... Don't Die is a great name. Uh... Jesus. Ooh. External lighting on and off. Oh, that's inter oh, internal lighting on and off. That's spooky. I imagine whether or not that stuff's on affects my power, right? I probably want to power the whole thing off whenever I leave. Oh, it's spooky now. It's all spooky now. Okay. Yeah, these are at 100%. Let's maybe not worry about light quite yet. Oh, this is a weird, cool toy. Let's back out to the entrance. <laughs> the don't die. <laughs> Wow, yeah, it takes to the color scheme immediately. There's the sea moth. I just built both these vehicles. Isn't that exciting? How do I put you inside? Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool.
That's pretty cool. And it's charging the Seamoth. It's charging the Seamoth in the Don't Die. Can I customize the Seamoth's appearance ever? Huh. Let's review the upgrades, particularly what they require. Arrow gel again. Don't even know how to do that one or that one. Benzene and poly... Polyaniline. Huh, those are new. Okay, so a bunch of stuff we don't even know how to get yet. Probably need to pursue more and more locations re related to... Uh, oh, that's... <gasps> 94 now. Sorry, I've got that thing where I feel odd. Little burpy, little barfy? I don't know. Huh? Definitely the end of the session, because I'm feeling weird. Alright, well. Motherfucking Cyclops. <laughs> this is a toy that I'm terrified I will definitely break. The question is how many episodes before I break it?